there's a lot of things that can go wrong in launching something like this. You have half a million people. So you can look in a skyscraper, look all the way around Baltimore and be like, more than everyone I can see with my eyes is registered for this event. I've been prepping for the presentation for two weeks, all day, every day. I will not be the person who did not prepare. And I will do that work out of respect for everyone else's attention. Offers was a meta example, meaning the book and the course and everything it was, was purposely intended to be an offer so good, people would feel stupid saying no. The book itself was an example of the concept of the book. So $100 million leads is different in that I want the example for the book not to be around the offer, but around how we promote the book, about how we got leads, which is why this event was so important to use all the different advertising methods to promote the book. Like I could have just made a post to my audience about the book and sold plenty of copies and not needed to do warm outreach or do affiliates or do paid ads. What's the point of this meeting? What problem are we solving? The most expensive cost in almost all companies is meetings. That was supposed to be an hour long meeting and we got off in 28 minutes. So what problem are we solving? The second is who's required to solve it. If we know what the decision is, then it's like, I'm not needed, see ya. It'll be on Shopify. The reason we did it on Shopify was because um, there's a bunch of issues with Amazon for launching, but the main one was that they wouldn't accept the amount of books that we thought we would sell. Amazon limits any new book, usually to 5,000 or 10,000 hardbacks, and we had a pretty strong suspicion that we were going to sell a lot more than that. So for that reason, we basically fronted all the money, did all the prints because we're self-published. So we're housing it, we're shipping it, we're warehousing it. I don't like anyone owning my stuff. And so whenever you publish a book, you actually sell the rights to your content, kind of like musicians where they sell their music to a label, same concept. For me to like give you guys like a free chapter for the fact that offers was $1.99, those are all things that a normal publisher wouldn't want me to do because that's where they would make their money. I want every person there to watch this presentation and be like, I need to fucking work harder. Like if that's like the deepest takeaway from this whole thing, then like, I can die pretty happy. I mean, most people spend their entire lives not being able to like influence 500,000 people. And so like, it's not lost on me. Straight to the cookies, huh? My birthday, fuck it. Yeah, good morning. Thank you, appreciate it. Yes. Trevor is probably the closest thing to a brother to me. Honestly, we co-wrote the books. I, I get a disproportionate amount of the credit, but Trevor has definitely been the one that has helped me beat up every single idea. He's been integrally involved in my life for a long time now, and um, I hope we can grow old and crotchety together. Welcome everyone to my book launch event. I'm so pumped to have you guys here. I promise I have spent a very long time trying to compress days and weeks and months. It's kind of like a stand-up routine. A stand-up routine that's 60 minutes has taken nine months to perfect like each 30 second bit that strung together created an hour. And so it's kind of the same way with this presentation is that like it's gazillions of hours compressed into that. And that's why hopefully the value per second will just be like incredibly high. My first presentation, it was just like a few words and then I would talk at the slide over time. And then I started adding more like bullets and text to slide. And then I watched this presentation that actually changed my life. It's a 15 minute TED talk. It was called like death by PowerPoint, it actually like forever changed how I made presentations, which is like one idea per slide. But then I got from the marketing and sales world to pair the idea with a visual. Yeah, I just want it to work. That's all I want for my birthday is that all the tech works. That's it. I just want the links to work. I want the page to work. I want the processing to work. There's a huge amount of like Aussies and New Zealanders who are staying up as like entrepreneur parties. So cool, yeah, I know. So I've got a bunch of guys who have like, you know, 1,000, 2,000 person communities that are pumping each other up for the event. Let's see what we got going on. Pre-set up for tomorrow. Check this out. This is the, uh, the 360. Wild. When I drop the offer, yeah. people will probably lose their minds. I'll have stacked it for like 17 minutes. I just want to show the reaction. So the stack is a direct sales tactic that has been proven so many times across so many industries that it is effective. The goal for this presentation was to be remembered. And so if I wanted someone to have an emotional experience going through this, then I have to subvert the audience in a way. I think that the stack accomplished that. Basically making a movie. Yeah, I'm basically Zack Snyder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Sick. rock and roll. What are the things that can go wrong right now? The only thing that can go wrong is what we can't control. Okay, yeah, just like Zoom in general. Correct. Tomorrow 
is the big day. Yeah, tomorrow's a big day. Today is my birthday. Honestly, I'm just excited for you guys to tear into it. It's not even the event. I'm excited for the posts that happen one day, two day, three days, four days later after people have consumed, you know, read the book cover to cover and read it a second time and started going through the course and listening to the audiobook. That's what I'm more excited about. But tomorrow is the first step to that. And uh, I'll see you then. <laughs> How many check-in we have? We have over 100,000 in check-in and currently on the feed, 6,049. Well, I'm ready. Damn right you are. Nigeria, Bulgaria, Philly, Pakistan. Super cool. They're coming in. International, baby. Yeah, I love it. Around the world. So some of those people, by the way, when you ask if they know anybody, melt some, they melt some, just puddles. Make sure to text them and tell them to come in like right now because uh, we're gonna have like a B1 of zero, bro. So the nose trip said B1 of zero for the last however many months. Our team has used one of one content as kind of our concept, which is you only say things that only you can say and show things only you can show. Then as the team started to find out all the things that we're gonna be releasing and giving away and doing what no one else would do, the team said in the chat, like, dude, this isn't even one of one, this is one of zero. What are you doing that no one will do? And I think that raises the bar a lot more. I'm scared by that bar, but I like that bar as an ideal to strive towards. We're at 10 minutes. You ready? Gonna be a ride. Twists and turns on this roller coaster. Layla's so worried. She's like, wait, you changed something? And I was like, oh yeah. yeah I'm excited to see the reactions because there's gonna be 15 minutes of, of suspense where they're like, is he gonna sell something right now? <laughs> the good news is I have done this before. A lot of times, a lot of times. I know how much work I put into it. When you're in front of the crowd, the only person's confidence who matters is yours. There are men of talent and men of preparation. I prefer to be the latter. So little did I know that as soon as I stepped on stage, uh, like three massive tech issues uh, break behind the scenes based on the sheer volume of clicks that were going at the same time to the same page. Let's get some leads. Is everything running smooth? I think a lot of people are having issues with a low price getting a relative ton of DMs what saying that the links aren't working. We had 562,000 link clicks in a matter of like 60 seconds. Whenever you have something like that, it's gonna put stress on systems that is very hard to test for. You can run simulators, which we had, and we still had more people than the infrastructure could handle. I would send them to YouTube. So, here's a so 140,000 people or so were not able to get in. The team pivoted on the fly and provided the YouTube link, and we had another 40 or 50,000 people who made it over on that side. People can talk on their mics in the Zoom room. Yeah, that's what I've been telling you. The second thing was that there were some Zoom rooms that the master Zoom thing wasn't set up the right way so that they, they could like unmute themselves rather than like webinar presenter format. Now, we ended up quickly fixing that. Guys, well, the YouTube live isn't way. loading for people now. The YouTube live stream ended up being three minutes delayed, and those were very three important minutes during the, uh, the entire launch event. And so we were able to save 40,000-ish people on YouTube, but during that first five or so minutes, there was a lot of hustle and bustle of trying to figure out what we were gonna do to house literally a city of people. So you're gonna get lead magnet mastery. You're gonna get the first five client framework. You're gonna get the Mosey Media content method to build the brand you want. You're gonna get the cold outreach playbook. You're gonna get the paid ads playbook. You're gonna have the referral playbook. And you're gonna get the affiliate playbook and the zero to $100 million scaling roadmap from someone who's actually been there. Total value, 1276. I could see the comments the whole time. And I say this with absolute confidence, I will bet that you cannot see that I can see the comments in how I was presenting. How much is double your lead flow worth? An extra 10,000 a year? An extra 50,000 a year? An extra 100,000 a year? An extra million dollars a year? And I knew that everyone would turn on me for a brief moment. All I could think is like, this is going exactly how I want it. I'm not gonna ask for 12,076, even though it'd be totally reasonable and a bargain. I'm not gonna ask for $4,997. I'm not even gonna ask for $2,997. I'm gonna give you access to everything we talked about today for a single payment of. Taking the extra four seconds, five seconds, when the world is watching, I wanted to sit in it and just hold uh, and just like kind of enjoy the moment. A single payment of. I know what they don't know. And I believe that that's how some of the best sales presentations are supposed to be. I went from villain to hero in 10 seconds. It's free. Love you guys. <laughs> We're already almost halfway out of it. Look, good. Oh, thank you. Thanks, sweetie. Lace.
You did pretty good. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. There, there were some dark days in the middle of the, the stack there. You gotta touch the bottom of the pool. That's what makes it memorable. Despite all the hate that I was getting, I knew the rubber band was going to snap back the moment they saw the truth. They just had to wait. Roller coaster ride. Bro, you, don't, you don't even you, know. You have no, you have no idea. Bro. Like, I was so nauseous. I was like, I think I am gonna throw up. I think that more people trust us now to continue to keep our promises in a world that breaks them. And more people believe us when we say we are long-term focused because we didn't take the $50 million payday, right? There was one comment, it was actually my favorite comment on all the ones that I, that I saw. You could have made bank, but you chose to make history. And I thought that was like, that was the fucking point, like in a statement, that was the point. Good job. That was just only two years of our lives. Just about 100,000 books sold the first day. So Offers has sold just under 500,000 copies over two years. To sell 100,000 in a day was pretty cool. To sell 20% of what Offers has sold, just big shoes to fill. But I actually think that Leeds will sell more copies than Offers does. And I think that's because more people perceive they have the problem of not having Leeds than not having an offer. The aftermath, we're not even done the first week as I'm recording this, but my name was trending on all of Twitter. The Leeds audiobook is seven on all of Amazon. We went from 50 to 20. 26 on all podcasts. We're number one in entrepreneurship. We're number two in business. Like I'm actually like emotional about it. Something that has never been done before. I actually truly believe that what he just did with this launch is going to just have shockwaves. Do you agree with people that are saying that you changed the industry? If we're defining change the industry as many people will act differently in terms of how they do business afterwards, then I would say yes. Not everyone but certainly some people will. The people who have longer time horizons who wanna build bigger, more lasting businesses, for sure. A brand is based on the associations that people make. I knew that having a massive historic event and having the thing still be more valuable than everyone else's and free was something that I wanted to associate myself with. But if you measure on a one-year time horizon, then it will never make sense. This is cool. This is very cool. Happy launch day, sir. Oh, you deserve it, you're the, man. You're the best. You're the you're best. best. I just want to say thank you guys so much for coming out. It means the world to me. It's one of those like very small things that Trevor and I spent two years writing this book. I just want to say thank you. It means a lot to us. So, thank you. At the end of the day, I will die and on a long enough time horizon, I will be forgotten. And the only thing that I can say that helped that might be eternal is skills and education that I can pass on to other people. Trevor used to tell me when I was going through kind of like harder times with the edits, because it was very tough to edit this book and write this book. Um, he said, there's a 17 year old who's gonna sleep with this book under his pillow to get out of his situation, you owe it to him. And that's what was kind of like the continuously reinforcing mental frame that I had to, that would pull me through it.